I don't know about you guys, but I really like newfangled plugins and they just came out with a new pretty innovative one. It's called Invigorate. Let's take a look at it. Hello everyone, welcome back to Miss Pass TV. Hope you're having a great day. Before we start, please check the info box down below for my mixing courses on Promix Academy, free plugins, special discounts and offers, and of course, links to Newfangle Invigorate. And if you really wanna learn how to mix and master professionally, click the join button down here, become a Mix Pass TV member, access the already big and always growing library of full mixing courses, start to finish, mastering courses on so many different genres and a lot more. And keep an eye out for the new, very popular format, the live mixing classes. Those are one-offs. And if the videos are are helping you please consider using the super thanks and support the channel let's see invigorate all right pretty cool GUI which is resizable and also has different colors the newfangled if you want it white and bright modern which is the default and the twin turbo which is what I will use in this video even though my car is supercharged and not twin turbo jokes aside let me tell you what I like about this plugin right off the bat it's that it forces you to use your ears because even though we have a pretty comprehensive GUI that gives you a lot of information on the three processes happening inside Invigorate, these are more ballpark. They give you a general, I wanna say, loose representation of what's going on, even though we have meters. And that coupled with the fact that it has a new morph function, the morphs, the three processes happening, we'll see that in a minute, forces you to rely on what you hear rather than what you see, which is very common with plugin. Invigorate is basically three processes inside one plugin. We have compression, limiting, and overdrive. And you can see these three here in our radar-like compressed top left, limit in the middle, and overdrive on the top right. And we have a little ball here, and this is the morph system. Moving this node allows you to blend these three processes both in intensity and which one you want to lean towards more seamlessly. The compressor, which can be very aggressive and very pumpy, very fun to use. For it, we have an attack, a release, and a comp filter, which is your HPF filter, okay? We have a really prominent mix window here from 100 to zero, which with this plugin, I feel it's key because you have three processes happening and more often than not, you will find that mixing this with the dry signal gives you the best results. For the overdrive, which is a clipper slash wave shaper, we have shape and you can see the purple line behind the controls changing, a squash function, and then a gate. A compensate gain button will match the input and output when you apply processing. Then we have a norm level. This sets the expected nominal RMS level of the input audio. Setting this correctly will help the compensate gain button to work as intended. And you can set this automatically by clicking the button next to it, which is learn. Play the audio. and it sets it automatically. We have a mute dry if you wanna monitor only the process signal, and then limit which engages a limiter at the output just to catch occasional peaks. Input meter on the left and output on the right show both peak and RMS levels. At the bottom we have a simple but very effective three bands EQ. And as you can see, there's no frequency showing, right, for the crossovers. This is another reason as to why you have to rely on your ears. But they implemented this EQ really well. In fact, you can see, you can have an input tone, let's say I change this, this way, and then an output tone, and you can have a different EQ. So you basically have an EQ in the input and an EQ in the output, one before the processing and one after the processing. Now, if you go back to the input tone, there's also an additional button here, which says compensate. If you engage compensate, it will compensate for the tonal changes in the wet signal by applying the opposite in the wet signal. This is very smart. So, so like in this case, if I boosted 6 dB at the top and 3 dB at the bottom on the wet signal, by clicking compensate, it will apply a minus 6 dB and a minus 3 dB on the wet signal. So 
this is very smart. And again, it's very smart that you can engage it or disengage it. Here we have our radar with our morph ball. Going up will increase the amount of processing and intensity. Going toward the compressor, you will use more the compressor or only the compressor if you go all the way. And same for the right with the overdrive. The key, in the, the key of this plugin is of course playing with this and blending the two. And if you're completely lost, don't worry because this plugin comes with my presets in it. Without further ado, let's give this a try. Okay, you hear it already. The purpose of this plugin is not to turn your track inside out, but it's more to add density and to invigorate, enhance what's already there. So let me show you the characteristics of the overdrive. I'm just going to use the overdrive now. I'm just trying to sound like what real sound like. I'm still the same down guy, same down vibes. I know that you heard it. I deserve this after what the hurt did. It don't turn out perfect. I'm just trying to sound like what real. As you go towards the zero, it gets more aggressive, more saturated, and softer as you turn the shape up. Now the squash. I'm just trying to sound like what real sound like. I'm still the same down guy, same down vibes. I know that you heard it. It becomes harder as you turn the squash up, but as you can see the interaction between these two, it's not exactly linear, okay? There are some sweet spots when you start moving them, and it's up to you to find the right type of curve for a given material. And again, there's a reason because the mix knob is this big and in the center because for the most part, you will want to blend this invigorated signal with parallel compression and saturation into the dry signal. But let's do the same with the compressor so you can hear the action of it. I'm just trying to sound like what real sound like I'm still the same down guy, same down vibes I know that you heard this, I deserve this After what the hurt did, it don't turn out perfect I'm just trying to sound like what real sound like Okay, you hear, this is an aggressive compression And you also see that the overdrive curves changes as I go up, okay? Let's try some vocals I stand outside in the rain I take the physical pain at the end of the day, the girls would I want. I stand outside in the rain. I take the physical pain. All right, for example, you hear that if I go overdrive like this and I like the aggression, which I will mix with the dry signal, it gets a little too big in the low mids. So this is when I can try and start using the input and output tone. I stand outside in the rain. I take the physical pain. At the end of the day, the girls would I want. And you see, I'm also using the gate without it. I stand outside in the rain. We would have the bleed from the headphones. This is why they put a gate here because with saturation, everything gets brought up and you can gate it. I stand outside in the rain. I take the physical pain. And I'm squashing it with compression. Let's run on this side with the compression so you can hear it. I stand outside in the rain. Without it. I stand outside in the rain. All right, and now I'm gonna blend this. I stand outside in the rain. Zero. I take the physical pain. 
At the end of the day, the girls would all want. And we have a nice, in your face, aggressive, saturated rock vocal. I stand outside in the rain. I stand outside in the rain. Nice, and it's super quick and easy to use. Let's do like bass and acoustic guitar as well. I really like the soft saturation with the shape of 100%. Really nice, 50% mix and you hear without. Even used very lightly between 0 and 20 or even 15%, it adds character and density to the material. So I want to hear it on bass, like rock bass. cool low end growl. Let me try to add some low end on the input side and compensate and see if I can get the low end to growl even more. So you hear the compensate really changes a lot of things in the tone. So don't assume that using the compensate is always better. Just listen, because for, for example, in this case, I prefer it without the compensate. But nonetheless, it's really cool to have it. Last test on a loop. And it's so fast in real time, it takes me like 20 seconds to get a sound. Uh, you hear it brings up all that detail, all those uh, low level percussion without. Really, really cool. Like I said at the beginning, I love newfangled plugins and this Invigorate is no different. But I wanna know what you guys think in the comments down below. I'll put the link to Invigorate in there as well. And I think this is it for the video. I hope you liked it. And if you did, please don't forget to leave a like. Thank you for watching. Subscribe if you haven't already. Stay safe. See you next time.
so